Hi, I'm Jerry McMillan with PressureWasher.net and Sirocco Vacuums. We also manufacture Bulldog Pro pressure washers. I want to show you a uh, short uh, bed style uh, truck mount system that um, somebody wants to bring into a parking garage. So the goal on this was to get it, get it all on here and keep it below six feet. So everything had to be 36 inches tall or less on this truck. We even cut down the uh, bulkhead uh, so that everything is less than 36 inches off the floor here. So anyway, what we have is an eight gallon a minute horizontal version, 4,000 PSI pressure washer. And by the way, these are special order pumps that we use. These AR pumps uh, are rated for the full 4,000 PSI at the full eight gallons a minute with forged bronze rods. Uh, we've got uh, special relationships with our suppliers because of 30 years of doing business and this is one of the results. You get to have a more efficient and capable system for an affordable price. We can do the dual pump version which will last longer but these are working so well the way we plumb them it's, it's, it's compelling. Um, of course we've got a great big inch and a quarter line coming into a great big inch and a quarter cleanable uh, filter here. Uh, we've got dual feed that breaks off from the inch and a quarter to two one inch feed lines on each one on each side of the head of the pump so with a one inch line on each side of the head of the pump this thing is going to gravity feed for a long time before it needs a set of seals so no service centers in sight for this one for a while okay this is a fuel injected 29 re-rated 26 and a half uh, uh, horsepower Kohler uh, fuel injected means it's going to save 30 percent of the fuel huge fuel savings on these fuel injected engines. Love them. Um, and uh, the rumors that have been going around about Kohler's leaking oil, uh, almost every one of those I've seen was run in confined space and overheated. So just for the notes, um, we like Kohler engines, don't have any issues with them. We also use Briggs and Stratton engines. This Briggs engine happens to be a 16 horse Vanguard on a three inch blower. Um, we've that, that's the vacuum system that we can run a couple of surface cleaners hundreds of feet on. Um, and we've tied the exhaust together on these to bring them down and through the floor into a catalytic converter, which reduces carbon monoxide in parking garages, kind of important. We've got a special relationship with another supplier. We've got the catalytic converter for these engines. You can find them online at pressurewasher.net. But the point here is, that we have taken these exhausts together, tied them into a, a catalytic converter system with a secondary silencer, and this system is quiet. We're gonna fire it up tomorrow, uh, but for right now, I wanna show you what this beast is. So 16 horse vac uh, Vanguard vacuum with a single waste tank configuration. He can put another one up here if he wants to. He can throw sand traps or waste tanks in a pick up and bring them with. There's gonna be more than one guy using this little monster because um, we are we got another pressure washer on the other side, which I'll show you in just a minute. But um, right now we've got one on a pump out tank and one sand trap, leaf trap version, so this guy can suck up leaves and sticks and cigarette butts. He can, um, uh, of, of course, uh, do a parking lot well, like it was designed for. Um, not a huge project uh, capacity for uh, one sand trap, one pump out, and a medium-sized filtration system. We'll get to that in just a minute. Um, under here, we've done a custom vacuum hose reel. It's small diameter. It's only 21 inches, so it doesn't hang down too low, but it's 36 inches long. It'll hold 150 to 175 feet of hose. Um, others will be available. This beast is beefy. It's not going anywhere, and we've got some good quality straps to hold it up. And by the way, when we mount things, whether they're on the deck or under the deck, we're using grade eight. This stuff is not falling off on the freeway in case you get in an accident or something like this. This equipment has to be safe. We're gonna talk all about that in another video. Let's keep moving on this. So I've got a vacuum that requires automatic pump out. Here's the generator to run those pump outs. We've got the battery on this tied to electric rewind hose reels. So we've got two high pressure hose reels, uh, one for the eight gallon a minute, one for the uh, Six, six gallon a minute machine over here, and we've got three quarter inch jackhammer hose. Wait a minute, it's, it's, it's one inch jackhammer hose for the water supply. So he can quick fill this thing from a garden hose as fast as a garden, garden hose valve can release the liquid. It's getting up into this tank. 
We've also used our our QC style swivel on this for free flow and super easy repairs and adjustment. That swivel only takes one O-ring once a year and one minute to change it. We'll talk more about those later. Find them on my pressurewasher.net website. Um, convenient buttons for the um, for the reels and beefy switches. You know, some guys are going to relays. It's not really necessary. If you're right here next to the power source, then these switches live forever. I mean, they live for years and years and years. So no need to go to the relay. If you want these up overhead and you can't climb up to touch them, then the remote should be someplace else, and we can use the little relays. That works fine. Um, I'm just saying, don't waste any money when convenience is king and the rapid elimination of downtime on something you won't hardly ever have to service. So, great big fuel cell, gonna run both those engines. Uh, this is 23 gallons of gasoline. I would rather that this was a belly tank that was already DOT approved from the manufacturer, but wasn't available. This one does have a diesel tank under the belly, which we're using for the heaters, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, right here we have the oil water separator, which has our new design silt filters with the cleanable socks. That has a huge capacity for its size. Uh, this is a 66 gallon size short version. Uh, there's a bunch of bag filters in there that are cleanable plus the oil filling fibers. And anything that that pump out pumps out into the oil water separator is going to be uh, clean enough to go through our bank of filters without being sticky makes it easier to clean these out and without overloading these so you've got a big dirt load capacity huge capacity in the sand trap um, we've got uh, the filtration for reuse on here um, this guy's got two 200 gallon water tanks up up against the bulkhead this is about as much weight as I would want on a trailer like on, on a uh, on a truck like this but check it out I mean this is convenient it's low profile you can get to everything I mean, everything's going to be serviceable here. Even the even the filters are mounted on wing nuts, so it's real simple to get this thing off the trailer. If you can't go fast, what's the point? It's a race against time, guys, and having downtime sucks. Being able to get over it quick rocks. Um, here's the second pressure washer. This one the customer brought to us with the system. It's a five and a half at four thousand um, uh, with the Briggs uh, eighteen horsepower engine. And we've coupled it up with uh, these 18 and uh, 18 inch heaters. Um, excuse me, these, these are 20 inch heaters. So the 20 inch uh, can get that eight gallons a minute up to about 180 degrees. And the five and a half, it's going to be about 200, 210 degrees. And then, of course, you know, we like multifunctionality. So we've added temperature controls. Uh, and there's a uh, pressure control that's going to be quick coupled on here when he wants to use the smaller machine for tile and grout so he can reduce the flow and the pressure and clean tile and grout at 1200 psi with temperatures up to 230 degrees come on um, sanitizing as fast as you can move without using much chemical sorry chemical salesman you don't like me that much but um, uh, the equipment rocks here and um, this equipment is set up to go fast it's even got a quick fill for a, for a fire hydrant. Um, it's going to have an air gap set up on it so we can quit, quickly put that on there when he needs to and, and, uh, and, and fill like that. Um, here's that big diesel tank I was talking about. He's got about uh, 25 gallons of diesel fuel in there for running both these heaters. And um, this is how he's going to roll. That's this one. What's here is going to be? Thank you.